okay that you can match that up against the Lunox so that they have more than a uh, I guess they'll, they'll have equal side laners. Expo. So they need another support at this point. Xborg is the way to go, if I think. If they go Xborg side lanes, man, this means that the Angela is a support. I, yeah. I think this is a classic 1-3-1. Uh, Claude Kufra Angela. The Xborg yeah. will go to the side lane. The Joy will go to the side lane. But dude, this is a Lunox against a Kufra and against a Johead. And the damage is just gonna be great against these tanky heroes with the health percentage procs from the Chaos Bolts. I think yeah. Team Myanmar, they're confident enough with their draft. Uh, yeah, I absolutely like the, the non-core Angela fall. nowadays. Because it's just way too slow when it comes to like, yeah. dealing with things. Yeah, and you, you just you just heal and you don't do damage, right? Yeah. And and um, what actually, if you're slow in picking up items, uh, even your sustain your sustain will will lack in the late game, because again, he, her heals uh, scales with her ability power. So yeah, man, I think uh, the Lancelot serves as an answer to to this Angela pick, because the Lancelot can just dodge. The puppet on the strings, but mm -hmm. all that thought, Wolf. What no, happened there in the top lane? Two kills coming in from Team Laos. Because Myanmar really dove that jawhead, and they were absolutely outplayed by the mm -hmm. jawhead. This is probably why they really prioritize this pick. Look at that flicker oh. away. Shut up. Nice touch of the Thornos. Did you see that moves uh, coming out from the Xborg? Recovers the Pirag armor at this point. And now Team Laos have recovered. Very nice ejector coming out from the Joy right there. Nice bouncing ball. Everybody's doing such a nice job. But Peter X2 is going to be able to run away. So oh, the man. Gap. Maybe the bad thing about this is that even if Team Laos actually survived that one, they had to recall away. And yeah. there's more presence on the map now for Team Myanmar as there could be an invade actually from this Lancelot. And they will gonna they're gonna push the mid lane because of their artillery me uh, art uh, cannon now. Oh I, my! Look Team at this. Myanmar playing mind games against the Team Laos. Double, double of steel coming out from Yellow Flash. Our Lancelot stole the purple buff on the right side and the left side as well. And look at this. They still have their own buffs. And even with 5.3k now for Team Myanmar, they can even still get more yeah. out of the map. This is such a good start for them. Like I said, even if the Team Laos team did not um, give up any kills in that um, um, scuffle in the around the purple buff, the fact that they had to recall back to base meant that they won't have control of the map now. And yeah. Team Myanmar reaping the benefits. And this is going to be a tight predicament for uh, Team Laos. Because Wolf right now, if you're going to look at Yellow Flash with the buffs that he is having, with the funnel that he is having, I think his damage is now ripe. And he can just go in and out even with towers in front of him. He can now uh, like be sour and just yeah. kill Peters and, and kill Chun every time he wants. Turtle Look at this! Even in the top soon. lane! Ooh! Okay. So, they, they are now having more, I'd say, freedom around the map, which is important when you're when you are controlling the early game at least look if you look at this Lancelot's oh really burning at this point that's the clot so, sorry the Angela down so it looks is taken out from uh, someplace else that's the actually the middle look at this Thorin Rose and shut up once again was able to dodge Dude. that Thorin Rose uh, how many times he does that that's actually amazing to me you know what's, what yeah what's what's interesting too you know what's amazing too is that the Myanmar there's they're, they're slowly choking Team Laos here in the in the mid game because man Team Laos they were holding on they yeah. were holding on to that mid tower for like two to three minutes mm -hmm. in, in the game man Team Myanmar they're not letting Team Laos breathe here not at all. even they even tried to get another orange but luckily for Chun he got it but is Dream going to be the sacrificial lamb here yes he. Oh. We, oh, okay. He will survive this. Okay. What? He was able to run away. Yeah. But again, Shield. 
Yeah, but again, man, <laughs> the damage has been done. Oh no. Now there's the blazing do it top lane. Royal Mid is safe, but oh, what, what a nice usage of uh, skills coming out from Team Myanmar. They know exactly where the other players of Team Laos are. Now they're wanting to go for the Cloud, knowing that the BMI can be out. It comes oh to Kufra. My. They can reach anyone. And there's really no follow up from Team Laos oh, at this point. And look at the Chaos Bolts coming out from the Lunox. Lunox with the Impure Rage. And we know that it's percent based, Me meant that even that Kufra was shredded down. Yeah. That's just just the the impure rage and the chaos balls are just perfect with each other against tanky heroes and Kupra. It's a natural hero who has high HP, so that's good news for uh, Hiccup and Wolf. We're just five minutes in the game, and I think all Laos did was defend. They didn't have any time in in, in making oh, yeah. a play. They're just reacting to what Myanmar is doing. That's right. That's actually a, a valid understanding of what is happening. Now, that's really bad for Team Laos at this point because they're overreacting to what Myanmar is doing. And like you said, they aren't able to farm. They aren't to make, able to make a play of their own, which means yeah. that everything is dictated by Team Myanmar at this point. There you go. That is the kick from the Cho Royal Mech. But that nice flicker out from Peters to outplay uh, the Cho. But man, is it going to be enough though? Is that going to be enough for Team Laos to make a comeback here? Nice pick up there. Hiccup dying in front of the tower. And Sean free hitting Koopa. Yellow Flash will go for the pokes as uh, Sham 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 will now prepare to take the turtle soup. Man, <laughs> how good was that of a combo going off Team Laos? Jumping yeah. with the Kufra and then uh, finishing it up with a with an injector. Mm -hmm. I think that's massive for the team. And so far, so good. Now, shut up is going to be caught. Lancelot is not going to land the other injector in combination with the ultimate plus insanity. Jump from Hearn far too uh, oh deep. Oh, it's going to be punctured and destroyed by Yellow Flash. Well done from the Lancelot. Well, Yellow Flash is now at level 11. Three levels ahead against Chun. Who was He's taking having out. the time of his life, man. You know what? Chun is, yeah. Chun is having, not having the time of his yeah. life. You, you, you know what? Yeah. Yellow Flash is in a boat. Yeah. He's in a boat. Yeah. <laughs> He's he riding is. his yacht. <laughs> exactly. Now, look at this. Hearn jumps in a very precarious way and he's going to be punished by Team Myanmar so easily as they kind of want to go for more. They have stunned up, shut up. Maybe he just wants to eliminate his Fraga armor as the less insanity pop just to clear out the minion wave. Really smart move coming out from the x -Borg. But is this the only thing that they can do at this point? Like you said, Manjin, Team Myanmar, they have written the script and Team Laos is just following it. Yeah. Myanmar okay. is dictating the outcome of the battle now and Team Laos needs to wake up right now or else they will lose this easily. This is just so hard. This is just a huge dilemma for Team Laos, man. I think it's like in the movie Saw when you're slowly dying here. If you're Team Laos, there you go. That is the place you do it with the Angela Ultimate. That is nice for Team Laos. At least they got two kills. But uh, it's still questionable for me because Sham 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 is also free in the top lane. And the best target that you could probably get it should be like Yellow Flash. Should be Yellow Flash, oh. the Lancelot. But man, he's they just, try. just they outplaying try. him every time. Coming up from Yellow Flash in combination with the Ludox. But the Ludox is going to be punished because this Sham 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 just absorbs some damage while the Lancelot just stole another oh. buff. They got sure they stand the spirit by not perfectly time, and they have been able to punish him. Well done from Team Myanmar as they take two valuable kills from their opponents. Oh my, every time Team Laos will put up a punch, Team Myanmar will counter with two uppercuts. That's right. And I'm the, I don't even know if that's possible, Wolf. That but that's is... how the way it is. Possible, but um, very hard. Nevertheless, I kind of get what you're trying to say. <laughs> Man, yeah. I agree. They are getting bombarded now by Team Myanmar. And it all started when the script was written and Team Laos yeah. was just acting. 
Yeah. Right? The director is Myanmar and the actors are Team Laos. Yeah, man. And they can't do a thing, single thing here. That's right. We're, we're just... We're, and we're just in the first act, bro. We're just in the first act. It's just nine minutes at this point. Nine thousand gold ahead for Team Myanmar. And even if you look at the levels, it's not that good for Team Laos as well. This yeah. is looking to be so bad for Team Laos, Manjin. There you go. Shut up now. Uh, using his ultimate just to clear the wave, just to get the cannon minion. Ooh. Let's Man. see here, Team Myanmar. Not good news at all. Yeah. Go for jumps. Not gonna hit the mark, but at least the minions are gonna be cleared because Ooh. just look at the first with just one thorn rose. Already the Claude needs to be out of there. That's you know what? Yeah. They are. I think one thing that Team Myanmar is being careful right now is that Team Laos, they have good initiating uh, initiating tools. They have the last insanity, they have a Kufra jump, the knock up, plus the Claude can uh, flank in, in some way by using the Blazing Duet. So they're being very careful, they're, uh, they're so patient right now in entering the, the base of Team Laos. This is Myanmar discipline, ladies and gentlemen. A discipline from Team Myanmar indeed because yeah. they are not letting Team Laos get out of their base and the big problem now that you're facing oh, if you're in this position soon. the biggest problem you have is farm because you don't get out of your jungle yeah. right you, yeah. you can't get out of your base they're buying uh, odd potions at this point so that they cannot be thrown by the jawhead Everything man <laughs> Team Laos right now, the game is like 2020 for them. It started out bad and it's now becoming worse and worse. <laughs> 11 yeah. to 8, 11 minutes in and so there you go. There is the pandemic. This is this is the Lord pandemic here. Team Myanmar, they will now seal the deal with this Lord take. So easy for them to take this, even if they don't have a marksman at this point. Well, they do have Popol and Koopa, but it's kind of played as a support that the uh -huh. hardcore Oh, what a, what a trap set up by the Popolin Koopa. And now Ooh. they have the Kupra once again. They take him out. Set up, of course, because of the trap. You know what he did was to wait for the bounce symbol to where the Koopa Down. would go. Yeah. That's amazing yeah. to me. Amazing usage of the PNK by DK. And now the Lord is marching towards the mid lane and Mar. Now stalking their prey. There you go, there's the ejector in, but the order brilliant coming in from the Lunox, but the blazing duet. It's not gonna be enough for the Claude to survive as Team Myanmar owning oh. Laos, but oops, bloopers there. Nice ejector for Dream yeah. to uh, potentially come back from this game, but is it gonna be enough though? That is the question. How can they survive the Myanmar pandemic? Team Laos trying their best. They're holding the door, but they're not Hodor. Let's see what's gonna happen. Dream now falling low. There's no damage for Team Myanmar. Is this, this is the ultimate defense, ladies and gentlemen, for Team Laos. Ultimate Road defense. to greatest games. <laughs> oh, did you wanna go jump or shut up? There's immortality is still available for this guy and indeed it will pop. Now the punishment, the chopper from the Cobra, the blazing to it can be used as well with the actual ultimate. They take out the Lunox, so that's good. They're chasing down this Popolin Koopa, but he's gonna be punished. The double oh. Popolin Koopa here is so good. They take out the Claude, and can they take more? They are jumping in front of this Angela, even under the base. And wow. Chan is so confident with this as they fended off Team Laos, even the Claude taken out. And you know what? Lancelot is now available for Team Myanmar, and I think they're gonna be. Uh, Pushing the final nail into the coffin. There you go. I, 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 there you go. The dog man. DK playing the PNK. Okay, let's go. Shut up. Now with the last insanity connecting into four. The damage was huge, but Horn will die. The occasion. Double kill from Sham Sham Sham. Sham 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 is going ham. It rhymes, ladies and gentlemen. 18 to 11. Blazing to it from Shun. He will be my out. But four heroes are still alive for Team Myanmar. And like what you said, Wolf, they now nailed the coffin. There you go. 19 to 11. Team Myanmar. Another 2 0. Victory in the first day of the group stages. Group B of C Razor.